Okay, Rabbi Isai, all right, that was a temporary uh, foolishness on my part. Uh, we're sponsored by Baruchi and Lilu Nishmas Yaakov Chaim and Abba, Esther Bas Gittel, Avram and Shmuel HaKoyim, by Yaakov Yemansky, HaKos HaTov, to the Rav and the Zum family, Nachas from children and grandchildren, A.B. Sprite, Nachas from children and grandchildren, Ed Saleh from London, Joshua Rosenberg, a virtual Talmud. We... Uh, have the pleasure of welcoming in Baruch Ian, Eddie Chazan, Nachman Chapler, oh, in the shul, nice oilam in the shul over there, as we have Gedalia Engel, uh, Berish Gessamin, uh, Rich Leonard, is uh, Ruven Shannon over there? How about Michal? And Michal Avram Chavin, good, wonderful group, Irving Fishbaum, Saba, uh, Aaron Swade, Yisrael Fisher, Dr. Guy, Yitzi Fuchs, Mark Frankel, Shelley Zeitlin, Marshall Castle, Mel Zachter, Chaim Kramer, Shalom Fogel, Dr. Block, Ruven Pollock, uh, Rabbi Kranz, Yitzi Mala, Moshe Lehman, uh, Ramra Zepkowitz, Ilya Schutman, Abe Arbach, David Helfgott, and Carl Lushen. So we start right away on the bottom of uh, <coughs> on, on the bottom of Dafmem Ahmed Bey's. If you remember, we talked about a matana temirta. We said that a gift made in secret is not a binding gift. If you told the Adam that they should go conceal themselves and write the, the document, that that's not a, a binding document. But we said there was one opinion that if, if you don't say that it should be written in public, it's considered a uh, hidden gift. So the Gemara now wants to know what the halach is. Two lines from the bottom. Uh, two words from the end of Mem Abid Beis. Ibayalo. Stamamai. Where, as we said, uh, he, he, you just told him to write a gift document. Ravina Amalei Ravina says that this is not considered, we don't, uh, we're not concerned that this is a matanta temirta. While Ravashi Yamar Chayshinon, Ravashi says we are concerned. V'hilchas Chayshinon, and the law is that we are concerned, and therefore, if a person gives a gift, he has to say that it should be written out in the public in the shuk. Otherwise, it is not binding. Now we already learned that if Mark says to Marshall, "What are you doing in my land?" And Marshall says, I have it for three years, and therefore it's mine. And the court asks Marshall, why is it yours? So Marshall says, well, I'm here three years, and nobody told me boo. So then it goes back to Mark. Because that's a chazaka she'en imotayna. And a chazaka she'en imotayna is not good. If, if Marshall says, I bought it, or... Mark gave it to me as a gift, or I inherited it. That's a taina. Says the Gemara, let's see the Mishnah. Kol chazaka she'eni mataina, any chazaka that doesn't have a claim attached to it, ain't a chazaka. That's not a good claim of ownership. Ketzad. Amalai, Mark says, Mark is the Marikama, he says, Ma ta'isa b'seich shali, what are you doing in my land? Vo Amalai and Marshall tells him, I'm here three years and nobody told me to leave. Ain't a chazak. Because he doesn't have a claim to it. The only thing that the chazaka helps is that therefore since he has it three years, he doesn't have to keep a pa the paper. But he has to claim that he bought it. He has to claim that it was given to him as a gift. But on the other hand, if Marshall says, you sold it to me, you gave it to me as a gift, or or your father sold it to me, or your father gave it to me as a gift, so then then these are good chazakas, and he could keep it. Now, let's say Marshall inherited it from his father. And he's living in it three years. But he doesn't know how his father got it. So says the Gemara, 
if he got it by Yerusha, he doesn't have to know how the father got it. Uh, a son is not expected to know his father's business. The Gemara will say, however, that he has to be living in it. The father had had to be living in it at least one day. If the father was living in it one day, and now Marshall has three years of Chazaka, then he doesn't have to have a time because uh, he, he, uh, all, he, all he has to do is say that uh, I inherited it from my father and I have it for three years and nobody said anything and uh, that's enough. So the Gemara says, we said that if Marshall doesn't have a reason why he's there, he has to give it back to Mark. So the Gemara says, Pshita, duh. I mean, why should he keep it? <laughs> why? Because, he, because he has good looks? What, what, what would be the reason? Mark, Mark is the owner of the land. Says the Gemara, you know what? Maybe Marshall bought it for Mark. But he lost his star. And if he was afraid that if he said that he lost his star, he, it would be held against him. He doesn't know the rule that after three years you don't have to keep the paper. So maybe I might think that the court should ask him, did you perhaps buy it and lose your star? Kamashman, the court doesn't give him a time. Let's see it inside. Pshita. It's obvious. And the Gemara says, well, Mao the same. I might think, hi, Gavra, Ms. Rezovnale. Ms. Rezovnale, hi, Ari. Really, Marshall bought the land for Mark. Vishtara Havale, but he, he had a document for Irkus, and he lost it. Vahide Kamahachi, and that which he says, well, nobody told me anything. Savar, he figured, I don't want to say anything that will make me look bad. Savar, I mean, Ms. Rezovnale, hi, Ari. If I tell them that I bought it, Amali Achvei Shtar, they're going to tell me to show my Shtar, and I don't have the Shtar because I lost it. Hilkach, therefore, I might think that Leimale Anan, maybe we should suggest Dilma have a Shtar Alach Ve'erkas, maybe you had a document and you lost it. And in such a case, maybe we open the mouth of the mute, maybe we tighten it for him. Kamash Malan, that we don't. We don't give him any ideas. If he just says, if he doesn't make a claim that he bought it, we don't give him the claim, and the land is returned to Mark. Okay, now we're going to get an actual case. Uh, there was just a, a hurricane. Uh, Rav Onon shakal bitka ba'are. There was a flash flood, and it swept away the fence from his ground. Azal Hader Guda, when he put back up the fence, inadvertently, he did it Pa'are de Chavre. He took some of his neighbor's land. In other words, instead of putting the fence at the boundary of his land, he pushed it further and he encroached on Marshall's land. So also the coming to Rav Nachman, so Marshall came to Rav Nachman, look, Rav Anan, I know it was inadvertent, but Rav Anan put the fence on what's my land, I want him to move it back to the property line. So also the coming to Rav Nachman, Amalei Zil Hadar. So he told uh, Rav Anan, go put it back. So Rav Anan said, well, actually, I had it. I had it there, and it's already a few days, and Marshall didn't say anything. So he said, Amalei, who are you going like? Come on, Kreb Yudav, Reb Yishmol. Like Kreb Yudav, Reb Yishmol, the Imre Kol of that if you are occupying the land in the presence of the owner, and he doesn't say anything, La'alta Avi Chazaka, it's a Chazaka right away, and you don't need three years. Less Hilchas The law is not like Rabbi Yudah and Rabbi Shmuel. But then Rav Anand says, Marshall helped me put up the fence. So obviously he was Michael. Amalei the Ha'achil. He was Michael me the extra territory. 
He helped me put up the fence. Amale, so in here you see how a Rav has to understand the situation. Rav Nachman tells him, Mechila betoisi. It was a mechila by mistake. You, you didn't steal Marshall's land. At gufach iaviyodis, if you would have known that you were encroaching on Marshall's territory, loy of this, ki eicha da'at loy aviyodis, just like you didn't realize it, Punami loy aviyodis, he didn't realize it either. So it's not a mechila, it's a mechila betoiz, and therefore, just move your fence and give him back the land, move it back to the original property line. Now, and while we're looking over here, we already have 29 Zoomers. That's the, that's the way to travel over here. As we welcome in Dr. Udell, um, Mo Kushner is joining us. We're a bunch of wealthy people over here on this Zoom. Uh, it's looking very good there in the shul, but Rabbi Isai. There is, I, 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 we don't know yet. We're, my wife and I are discussing it. There is a possibility that I'll be back in shul Wednesday night for the uh, daf and for the chumash here, and also to make the siyam on Seder Nashim. It happens to be that Tuesday is my father's yard site. So it would be making a seum for my father's yard site. So we're, we're, we're debating if we'll come in and go to the base base forest. We're, we're not sure yet. <laughs> um, Gedalia, I'll keep you posted. Um, Rav Kahana, two lines from the bottom of Mem Aleph from Mem Aleph. This is another case of a flash flood. Rav Kahana shokel bit kabare. A flash flood uh, swept through his land. So again, ozel hader guda ba'are deloy dide. When he was putting up the fence, he put it up and he encroached on Marshall's property. So ozel the kameidu Rav Yehuda. Uh, Marshall came before Rabbi Yehuda. Ozel Aise Tre Sade. He bought two sets of witnesses. Chad Omer Tarte Utsai Sa'ol. One said that Rav Kahana went two rows into Marshall's property. The Chad Omer Tlas Utsai Sa'ol. That Rav Kahana went three rows into Marshall's property. So Amale, so Rabbi Huda told him, well, everybody agrees, of all four witnesses, they all agree it's two rows. So zil shlim tarte migav tlas. Go and um, give at least two rows back and push uh, two rows, the, 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 the fence, push it back two rows. Because everybody agrees. The one that says three agrees with two. Amale, so Rav Kahana says, Keman, Kerab Shimon Elazar. Who is this like the opinion of Shimon Elazar? The Tanya of Shimon Elazar. Loinech, Lekube Shame, Yabay Silil. Be Shame, Be Silil, don't argue. I'll stay Kite Aidim, two sets of witnesses. Sha'acha Zaymeris Mana, one says that Ruvain owes Dr. Black $100. The Acha say Meris Masayim, and one says that Reuven owes Dr. Black two hundred, uh, and one set says that Reuven owes Dr. Black two hundred dollars. That Reuven surely has to pay Dr. Black a hundred, because she aged Bechlam Masayim one. The one that says two hundred agrees to a hundred. Al man what do they argue about? Al kat achas. Oh, if there's one only one set of Adam. One says 100 and one says 200. So you don't have two witnesses on either one. 
Shabeshami Aimim Nechluk Eidusin. That's a split testimony, and you throw it out of court because you only have one witness to 100 and one witness to 200. Obey Sulaimim, since both witnesses agreed to 100, Yesh Pachlam Masayimon. So he says, but everybody, everybody, there isn't even a quarrel when it's two sets of witnesses, and one set says 100, and one set says 200, that you give at least 100. So here we have the same thing. One set says two rows, and one set says three rows. We at least should push it back, and Rav Kahana should restore to Marshall two rows. Amalaisa Rav Kahana tells you, Rabbi Yehuda, Va I could bring you a letter from Eretz Yisrael, Eretz Yisrael is to the west of Babel, I could bring you a letter from the west, from Eretz Yisrael, they ain't Allah, Rabbi Shimon Elazar, that the law is not like Rabbi Shimon Elazar. Amalei, so Rabbi Yudha tells him, L'chi tesi, when you bring me the letter, I'll look at it. For now, give Marshall back at least two rows. Now, as so we welcome in Stephen Holtzman for our 30th Zoomer of the evening. When we said we're giving Marshall the four extra in the Gouda, so that's 34, so he's 16 from the promised land. Marshall, get moving. You know, by Rosh Hashanah, you could have a case of bourbon if you, you know, play your cards right. Uh, the, uh, this one, I need to drink before I start down. Right. Now, you know, you need to drink it to cope with your sins. Um, what sins? Uh, the other ones. Uh, the <laughs> um. Rabbi, I don't know if anybody else noticed, but you're the center box. I love it. <laughs> anyway, first time it's happened. Uh, you see, on my screen, I'm not. That's on your screen. You are. Oh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But anyway. Um, Move it around. Now, Hahu Gavra. And we know what the gematria of Ha'u Gavra is. Uh, Ha'u Gavra, Marshall, did dar b'kashta b'ilisa arboshne. He lived in kashta in an attic for four years. So of course the house is owned by Mark. So asa mari debeise ashkeche. So Mark comes finds him there. I'm going to lay my boys by base. What are you doing in the house? So here, of course, uh, Marshall has his story all set. I'm going Now, remember, he's there four years, so he has a chazaka. So I'm So Marshall says, I bought it from Eddie, who bought it from you. So here we have again an interesting thing. All Marshall's Chazak approves is that he bought it from Eddie. It doesn't prove that Eddie got it for Mark. Maybe Eddie stole it from Mark, you know, which is a likely story. So says the Gemara, says the Gemara, also, the came uh, They came before Rabkhia. Amale, and here we learn the one day rule. Ies lachsade de darba iu de zavnis mine. If you have proof that Eddie lived in it, va filu chad yuma, even one day, ukimna labiyad, we'll give it to you. The Eli lai, and if not, not. This is what we said, that if Marshall says that he inherited it from his father, so as long as his father lived in it one day, that's a good enough claim. He doesn't have a Miku? Ah, so we'll see. Amarav, have a Yesivna Kamei de Chavivi. I was sitting before my uncle Ravkia. The Imrele, and I said to him, can't somebody flip it overnight? 
people that do business, they flip even if it's, uh, they're not living in it 24 hours. Now he didn't accept that argument. However, the chazite ledate, I saw that it was his mind that i amale kamoi di di zavne minach. If he would say that I saw Eddie buy it from you, Mark then he would be believed with Rabbi Kranz Migur. Mehemet, Migur di Bai, because if he wanted to, Amalei, he would be able to say, I know Zavina Minach, Zavanta Minach, I bought it from you directly, Mark. Since he was there four years, he didn't have to put Eddie in the mix at all. The only reason the Migu only helps if he's making a claim. But he doesn't have proof that Eddie bought it for Mark. So it's not a question in them on this. But if he says he saw Eddie buy it for Mark, then we believe him. Because he could have just said, I bought it directly from you. It's reasonable to assume like Reb Chia that Eddie had to be in it at least one day. Diktani habom yishum Yerusha. We learned in the Mishnah that if Marshall said, I got it as an inheritance, he doesn't have to bring a proof how his father, he doesn't have to make a claim how his father got it for Mark. Did his father get it with Matana? Did his father buy it? He doesn't have to know because his son doesn't have to uh, make a claim. Taino who deloy boy. He doesn't need to make a claim. Haraya boy. But it, there has to be at least some proof that the father lived in there. And therefore he had to be there in one, for one day. However, the Gemara says, that's not a good proof. Vidilma loy raya boy. Vidilma taino boy. Maybe he doesn't need to make a claim and he doesn't have to have a proof either. And furthermore, the Ibai is saying, even if you'll say, that in the case of Yerusha, he does have to have a proof that the father was in there one day, but here where Marshall bought it, it stands to reason that nobody buys something from a person unless he checks it out that it was the person's item. Shani the Zuze He doesn't throw away money for nothing. And since he doesn't throw away money for nothing, we could assume that he checked it out. Now, we said, according to Reb Chia, that Eddie had to be in there for one day. Now that means Eddie had to be living there for one day. Ibailu nira mai. What if he wasn't living in it? He was just seen measuring it. What's the din then? Amar Abai, he he. The fact that he was in there is enough. Rava, Amar Rava says, no, measuring it, people measure things that are not theirs. Ovid Inish, the Sora Are, Veloy's oven. There are people that measure things and don't buy it. So the fact that he's measuring it means nothing. Now, in this case, Mark is the Marikama. It was Mark's field from the Mayflower. Now what happened over here is three people occupied the land for a year. Shelley occupied it the first year. Marshall occupied it the second year. And Mel occupied it the third year. And now Mark says, Mel, what are you doing in my land? And Mel says, I have it for a year. I bought it from Marshall, who has it for a year. Who bought it from Shelley, who has it for a year. That's three years. Says the Gemara, Shloisha Lekucha is Three buyers can combine. As we welcome in Daniel Rosenberg for our 31st Zoomer of the evening. 
translating into 36, so that's uh, 14 left for Bourbon Aden. Uh, the, um, it's amazing that Marshall sits there without lifting a finger. Um, now, so Shleisha Lekucha is mitzvah. The three buyers, Mel, Shelley, M Mel, Marshall, and Se Shelley can combine. However, the Gemara says with a proviso that each one has a star. If each one had a star, a star has a curl. A star makes noise. And therefore, Mark would know that all three are connected and not disjointed. Because he would know that there's a star that Marshall bought it from Shelley and Mel bought it from Marshall. So it's all one package. So he should have issued a mecha. And therefore, the kulam b'shtar. Now that implies that if Shelley sold it to Marshall and Marshall sold it to Mel with Adam, that is not enough to make a curl, to make noise. So the Gemara says, Lememra de Sabarav, Shtar Isle Kala, a document creates a curl, the Adam less Lukala, and witnesses don't make a curl. I the Amarav Hamoicher Sada Beedim. If I sell a field to Irving with witnesses, and then afterwards Nachman buys property for me, and then Irving has a problem with his field, and he wants to get compensation for me, and I don't have the, the money. We say that he could take it away from Mark, even though there's only Adam. So isn't that proof that Adam also create a curl enough that Mark would know about it and therefore he should have protected himself? Mark could collect, uh, Irving could collect if the field is taken away from him and I don't have any resources, he could take it from a later buyer for Mark. So you see that it has a curl. Says the Gemara, it has a curl, but not as, as much as a star. A buyer, before he buys, a responsible buyer like Mark does a property search to see what liens are there. If there are eight, then that's enough that when he does a search, he will find it. Hasam Lekuchais, a buyer... By a buyer, inu afsidu anafshay. Mark, if he didn't do a, a property search, he heard himself. But in this case, where there are people occupying Mark's land, he doesn't have to do a search whether people are occupying his land. Right? It, 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 he sees people haphazardly going in his land. One, one, one year, uh, Shelley, well, he squatters. One year Shelley, one year Marshall, one year Mel. He doesn't have to do a search. If there's a star, oh, a star will get the news to him. A star has a curl, then he should know about it. Adam is only if he does a search. He doesn't have to do a search about squatters. Now, we are going to do the Mishnah Yomis now.